Chelsea welcome Everton to Stamford Bridge in a vital game for both sides as the Premier League season nears its climax. Well, the Blues still harbour ambitions of a return to European football next season, while the Toffees are desperate to remain a top-flight concern next term. Chelsea showing two changes from the draw at Sheffield United. Two of this season's stalwarts, Axel Dizazi and Enzo Fernandez, are unavailable. So Malo Gusto and Mikhailo Mudrik come in. Cole Palmer needs one more goal for 20 for Chelsea. He could become the first player to score in seven consecutive Premier League games at Stamford Bridge. Two alterations, too, for Everton from the 11 that started the win against Burnley. Amadou Onana is fit again and replaces Andre Gomez. Dominic Calvert-Lewin hasn't made it, though, so Beto starts in attack. Jordan Pickford makes his 400th club career appearance. Nogueke, Gusto. Garner wasn't falling for his trick. Here's Onana, now Ashley Young. And he did well, overcomes the cross, oh, and over goes the ball. Somehow, from Beto, that is an extraordinary miss. Yeah, it's worked brilliantly during the build-up. The core just worked a little block in the middle of the pitch. Just lent into Conor Gallagher, gave Anana the clear path to, to find that ball. And then this bit's brilliant. Mudrick a little bit slow once more to get back in. He's got to show more desire than that. Basego did well. Here's Gusto. It's going to bomb on here. In field to try and shake off Mikolenko. Played it into Palmer. Oh, a lovely nutmeg on Brantwaite from Palmer. Little flick as well for Jackson. Palmer's got it back! Oh, my goodness me! Cole Palmer, what have you done now? 20th Chelsea goal of the season from the number 20. He scored some beauties. That's up there with any of them. This boy can play all right. He is absolutely brilliant. Chelsea's main man. What a player. Another sublime goal. He looks like he's just scored a tap-in. He's special. It's 1-0, it's Palmer again. He's been at it from the first minute tonight, and the Everton centre-halves don't want to go into midfield, so him dropping off and Jackson's been a big problem for them from the outset here. Brilliant little nutmeg. The little flick is equally as good, but credit Nicholas Jackson for moving it perfectly onto the left foot of Palmer, so he can just stride forward and stroke it majestically beyond Pickford. It's another glorious moment from Palmer. Here's Madweke. Now Mudrik. Madweke. Oh, and Palmer somehow managed to clear it off the line. Gusto. Mudrik again and over. How's that not got in? From the sublime to the ridiculous. Well, I can only imagine this is slightly behind him. It looked like it was goalbound from our angle. Brilliant. Mudrik, Madweke. This is the angle. Yeah. He's got a score, he can readjust, I think, and get his left leg up, maybe, and cushion that into the net. Kukurea. Caicedo. Strong enough to hold off the challenge into the penalty area. Here's Mudrik. Cut back, Jackson, and Palmer for two. This time he scores. Cole Palmer at the double. We've not played 20 minutes yet, and he's scored twice already. Lift off for the Blues. Palmer times two, Everton in trouble. Yeah, since the opening goal, Chelsea have been so sharp to every ball, to every second ball. On the front foot, aggressive from Kaiseida, then the timing, and then it's just whether Mudrick can find a blue shirt. Jackson does well with a ball that's slightly behind him to hook it goalwards, and Palmer doing what all good front players you've got to do, running into the six-yard box. With that momentum, he can react quicker than the opposition. He's got himself another on a hat-trick. Again.
Oh, Pickford's giving it straight to Palmer, and Palmer's tripped it over him and made it three! A first half hat trick for Cole Palmer! Is there anything he can't do? Well, the assist there goes to Jordan Pickford, but not many players could have sent that over his head with such impudence, brilliance, quality. He's got the lock. It's 3 0, and Palmer's going home with the match ball for the second game in a row here at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, I mean, the, the nutmeg for the first, Matt, is brilliant, but in terms of technique, I, I think this could be better. The way he takes it out of his feet, and then without even thinking, really, executes the most wonderful of finishes on his weaker foot. I think that's the important thing here. It just skips up a little bit for him, but then to control that, it's an absolutely phenomenal finish. Mike McNeil again, the man over the free kick. Tarkovsky making a run off Palmer. That's where the ball went. Tarkovsky across goal, and Beto's missed another one. Last touch came off a Chelsea body. In another world, this game's 3 all. Kukurea, first time whip was nice. Jackson brought it out the sky and put it in for four. Another brilliant Chelsea goal. Nicholas Jackson this time, just before half-time. Jackson makes it Chelsea four, Everton nil. That's a brilliant ball in, first and foremost, and consistently in this first half, he's made really good decisions. Jackson, his awareness has been first class. Brilliant ball in, and look at that for a touch, swivel strike, all in one movement, really. It's phenomenal stuff from Nicholas Jackson, and it's been a really impressive first half from him as well, and deservedly gets his goal. Excellently taken. Fine goal from Jackson. None in four after three and three coming into this one. He's ended that drought in style. And Chelsea have surely got the game won in the first half. Gallagher hustling to win the ball back. Here's Mudrick. Can use his pace here. Try to get away from Patterson. He's done that with ease. Lovely way to pass as well. Oh, and Palmer denied a fourth goal. He's furious about it by the legs of Jordan Pickford. Yeah, brilliant from, from Mudrick. So many options there when he first passed the initial Everton player. Patterson's not getting back in. This is a really beautiful, measured pass. It's a great save from Pickford. You've got to say, any loft, any height on that finish, surely he's celebrating the fourth. Great at the goalkeeper. Oh, on the slide goes Conor Gallagher. Here's Palmer again. Offloaded it to Madweke. There's a challenge there on Palmer. Madweke's going on, then there's a challenge on him, and that's going to be a penalty. Well, there could have been one for the first challenge on Palmer. Well, now there's a row about who's grabbing the ball to take it. Oh, it was all going on there, wasn't it? Little shove on Palmer. This is brilliant. Palmer's picked himself up, and he's buried the penalty into the bottom corner to make it 5-0 to Chelsea. And Palmer's got four of them. That's why he takes the penalties, folks. Yeah, incredible. What a night for him. So often, goalkeeper goes the opposite way. Is there a final flourish for Chelsea here? Chilwell looking to provide it. Shakes off Patterson. Oh, Pickford makes a save. Alfie Gilchrist! Well, there's a great moment to round off a fantastic evening. Alfie Gilchrist, the common kid, with his first Chelsea goal. A moment he'll remember till his dying day. And Chelsea hit Everton for six. You just sensed that something was brewing there. You said it, are they going to end with a, a flourish? Ben Chilwell, brilliant down the left-hand side, and the strike that he executed was wonderful, angling towards that far corner. Pickford able to keep that one out, but that's a difficult finish as well, I'm telling you, when it arrives at the, the foot of Alfie Gilchrist. What a moment for the 20-year-old. Chukwameka, a little roll. Six of the best from Chelsea tonight.
They've torn Everton apart, a Cole Palmer masterclass. Four goals for him as he closes in on the golden boot. Nicholas Jackson and Alfie Gilchrist also on the score sheet for Chelsea here. Everton blown away by a brilliant Blues performance ahead of the FA Cup semi-final. There was even a clean sheet. Sam, it's been a perfect night. Yeah, brilliant night. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Some outstanding individual performances and, yeah, a bit of a timely reminder, I think, ahead of a massive game on Saturday that Chelsea have and a half still got some outstanding football. And so, yeah, brilliant going forward as we've grown to expect, but defensively so important to get that elusive clean sheet as well. So, sets it up beautifully for the semi-final at the weekend. Wembley, here we come, but in the Premier League, it's finished Chelsea 6, Everton 0.